Oh, that is screaming, screaming. What's up, YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. We are back here in Wilmington, Delaware, trying to catch our first carp of the year. As you guys have seen in the last couple videos, we've caught in catfish, no carp. I brought my son, Luca, here as my good luck charm. He was in one of my videos last year where we did catch a lot of carp. So, hoping that we get one today. We're gonna be trying something a little bit different, so stay tuned. So Luca just woke up from his nap, so he's gonna watch something on the iPhone for a little bit, but, so I'll show you what we're doing. So we're gonna be doing three rods, and we're in low tide right now. And we're gonna scatter our baits out. Scattering out your baits for carp can really be effective, especially during tough times like cold weather. So I'm hoping that we can get one today. I'm actually going to try to spread them out a little bit farther than I usually have been doing. Call this the scatter bait method. And we're using my pack bait here. We're using a uh, CC Moore NS1 pop up boiler on here, which was pretty effective for uh, an early season bait last year for me. So you can see it here. Okay. So we're gonna cast this one out there. Not using the pod that we normally use for catching carp. Just because we really are gonna scatter out our baits today. Scatter these baits out. There's a good cast there. All right, the second rod, we're gonna be casting this one out with three pieces of pineapple ice cream. You hear a train? Yeah, I know, I hear a train too. Again, yes. So we're gonna cast this one, scatter this one out from our first one. So we're just trying to cover more ground today, guys. And hopefully some carp are kinda coming through. The weather's been relatively nice the last few days, so. Okay, I'll be right there. Good cast there. All right, this last one, three pieces of juicy pear corn from Linear Bait. We're gonna put this at the end here. See, we're covering a wide area here. Um, probably close to 100 yards of area that we're covering. So like I said, using the scattered bait method, this can be pretty effective for trying to cover ground and increasing your chances of catching a carp. So we're gonna give it some time here. Hopefully we get some bites, so stay tuned. Over here, watch. See the rod moving? Yeah, let's pick it up. Uh, I think he... I think we have a carp on here. I think we got a carp. Luca, I think we got a carp on here. And on the other rod as well. We're gonna come over here. Oh man, we're getting, we are getting all hits. We're getting all these runs. Holy moly. It's a carp. It's a small one. Ah. Hold on. 
here we go. The scatter bait method really kind of took me by surprise. Oh, one down. Okay. We have to get the next one. Hold on. We're coming. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Holy moly. I don't know, but this one's out there. Yeah. We got, we saw him. We literally just had three fish all at once. And there's still a fish on that first one here. Yep. That one. This one may have got me into a snag. Yeah, I'm gonna have you hold the rod too. Come here. Come here. You're gonna hold it right here. Okay. Okay, here, put your arm there. There we go. See? See, you feel how heavy it feels? I can't see it. I know we can't see it yet. There you go, see? That kind of sad. Oh. Uh, it's the... Right here. Yeah, see how heavy that was? Yeah. Oh, wait, there is it a... This is a... This is a... This is a catfish? What is this? Unless it's stuck on a branch. It feels a lot heavier than that catfish. I know. I think I'm stuck on something here. We think that not the fish. Daddy, we think that not the fish. Yeah. This is a catfish, guys. It seemed like it was a lot bigger at once. But, hold on. We're going to do something like this and then i might be able to yeah this is a big big channel oh we're stuck on my other line Yep. Got it out. Here's the second fish, guys. We still have a carp on that last rod, I think. We're gonna hand this one in here because my line is all, all over the place here. And this carp is all the way out there. Yeah, look, look what Daddy's doing. I'm hand, I'm hand bringing in this fish. You hear me, Daddy? Yeah, give me a second. Oh yeah, we gotta. Oh, I think this one came off. Uh, again? I think this one came off. It's because it came off. All right, so we got our boy over here. All right, guys, we just got our first carp.
Little active little fellow, about 27 inches. First carp of the year. It's good to see one biting. We're gonna release this one. Big one. Uh, of course, I brought the wrong shoes today. There it goes. Ooh. This one could be a carp. He's stuck in some debris right now. Yeah, he's stuck in some debris right now. No, the fish. Look, Daddy has a fish on. This is the fish. Look at the look at my rod. Look, look at the fish in the water. Come over here. Hold my hand. We're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what the fish looks like. Okay. Yeah, you see him. You see my fishing line. See, I, uh, I think it is a carp. Small carp, but yeah, we're catching some nice ones today. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's a carp. Can you say carp? Yeah. It's a longer one. Might be a little bit bigger than the last one we had. Um, it's longer, but it's not as fat. This is what makes it tough, is you're trying to land these fish. Yep. Yeah, I got him. All right, guys, we just caught our second carp of the day. Yeah, you can keep that one. Is that water? Uh huh. Yep. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at that one, guys. Beautiful fish, second carp. Using the scatter bait method, catch a nice carp today. <laughs> I'll just slide that one in there. That one's going to be just fine. This is a carp here. Stay right here. Ugh. The action's just too much. Yep, stay here. So Luca is my good luck charm when it comes to carp fishing. He went out with me last year and we caught like five or six carp. And we're on our third hookup right now. This is our first carp we've caught this year. Right? Yeah. First one this year. Uh huh. So guys, like I said, we're scattering out our baits today. I haven't had time to get my third rod out because of the action here. It's been very, very quick, very fast, very effective. And we're right in the middle of winter here. Middle of February. This is the earliest I've ever cotton carp and probably scoop down here and get them got them <sighs> all right we're going to use three pieces of tiger nuts on here since the bite's been so good 
Hopefully we can get one on the tiger nuts. All right, still have to unhook a third carp, but the bite's been really good today. It's been a really good winter day today. All right. All right, guys, caught our third carp. It's probably the smallest one of the day. Here she is. Beautiful. We're gonna release this one. Good. Beautiful. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, that is screaming, screaming. Oh man, on the tiger nuts. Oh, this one is really screaming off my reel. This is right on the tiger nuts. Sorry, my hands are all dirty because I slept earlier. <sighs> Man, look at that, guys. That's how busy I've been. Buckley Luke has been really good. It's right on the tiger nuts. Luca, you can come right over here. Yeah, right here. Might be our biggest one of the day. Got him. All right, guys, we just caught our fourth carp. And probably last one for the day for me and Luca here. So we gotta get going home, but the action has been really hot today. This is the biggest one of the day, going close to fit about 15 pounds, high 15 pound here. Look at that one. This one, this one was to the tiger nuts, the juicy pair of tiger nuts from Linear Bait. So the biggest carp of the day fell to the tiger nuts. Decent one here. We're gonna release this one. This one's gonna be just fine. Thank you for not letting me get in the mud, Mr. Carp. Thank you for a very good day. Did you have a fun time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we had a fun time today, guys. Uh, we were out for about uh, not even three hours, two and a half hours. We caught four carp, one small catfish, and uh, we actually did have a fifth run for a carp, but we didn't get it. But very productive day. Um, all most of the carp were in the teens. Uh, I think the smallest was maybe like nine pounds um, or 10 pounds, I can't remember. I had a hard time keeping all three of my rods in the water because the action was that quick. And then also trying to occupy Lucas so he doesn't get bored. So very fun time. As you can see, the, skate, the scatter bait method, what I like to call it, very effective. And we're in the middle of winter here. Um, it's about, you know, 38 degrees today. So the water temp is probably around 40 degrees. It has been a little bit warmer, which also probably helped. But as you can see, we're fishing all across this area here. I catch a lot of, catch a lot of carp in this spot. I have a lot of carp videos. If you like these uh, videos that I put out here, I want you to subscribe and hit the like button and check out the rest of the carp videos that I have. And uh, we'll see you next time on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care. Say bye, Luca.